The modern battlefield features less and less human involvement and more remote vehicles capable of doing damage but with no loss of life. These vehicles are now becoming more commonplace on land, seas, and the skies. One of the most advanced unmanned aerial vehicles is courtesy of the UK's Royal Air Force, and it's called the Jackal. Weapons like this threaten to change how wars are fought into the 21st century, so let's take a look at how it works. The drone is courtesy of company Flyby Technology. They're a UK-based unmanned aerial vehicle training provider. They worked with Turkish partners Fly BVLOS Technology, an aviation consultant, along with Maxwell Innovations, an aviation component manufacturer, to produce the Jackal. The UAV has been designed to provide flexible capability for multiple types of combat missions over land, sea, and air, such as interdiction from the battlefield, close air support, engaging helicopters in flight, destroying tanks, delivering logistics, and preventing the enemy from using runways and roads. All of this can be done remotely to reduce the risk of loss of life. Research and development for the Jackal started at Drone Park in Gebze Technical University Technopark in Turkey at the start of 2022. The catalyst behind the need for such a vehicle was all courtesy of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Once this began, the UK Royal Air Force's Rapid Capabilities Office contacted the UK-based drone experts flyby to give them a brief on their new vehicle. In April of that year, the UAV successfully carried out its first demonstration flight for the Turkish Armed Forces in Ankara. This flight showed how the drone was able to stay in the air for 40 minutes during flight time. Fly BVLOS Technology then transferred the design and all other licenses for the Jackal to the UK around the same time. Further, FlyX Technology, a part of Fly BVLOS Technology, began working on a version of the vehicle at the request of the UK Ministry of Defense to make it battle ready. The company also collaborated with multinational defense company Thales to explore the potential of firing its lightweight, multi-role missile from the Jackal as part of this development. This new iteration, dubbed Siha, fired this missile in its first test firing in England towards the end of 2022. In further testing, the UAV successfully fired another Thales missile in a trial with the RAF in the spring of the following year. These tests proved the low recoil of the missiles, which meant that the drone could remain stable. This provides a much safer alternative to soldiers advancing with shoulder-fired weapons or crewed helicopters approaching enemy targets. The Jackal is a multi-role attack UAV, which can fire multiple missiles. It has a wingspan of 5 meters and can carry a significant weight of up to 15 kilograms. It also has a range of 130 kilometers at a maximum altitude of 4,000 meters. The drone's ability to launch and support missiles engineered by Thales makes it capable of firing modern weapons in flight to destroy enemy targets. Another useful feature it has is the plug-and-play system that allows it to incorporate new equipment and technologies into the aircraft between missions. This makes the Jackal highly versatile for battle. It can also adapt during continuous combat situations. This UAV can be integrated with Starstreak, a short-range surface-to-air missile, and LMM munitions as was proved during initial testing. It has an operational range of up to 150 kilometers on secure C2 links. Advanced software and sensor technology allow it to navigate difficult spaces with no human interaction. This makes it an invaluable tool for military reconnaissance and surveillance operations. And the main thing that will make this weapon more appealing to worldwide military forces is that it can provide affordable, unmanned air combat capability to countries that ordinarily couldn't afford attack helicopters or fighter jets needed to survive on the modern battlefield. It's no wonder, then, that this drone has attracted the attention of Ukraine, Iraq, and Taiwan. In fact, Taiwan has committed to a 160-unit launch order which shows the potential of just how popular these vehicles may become in the future. What do you think about the RAF Jackal drone? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.